What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today I'm going to show you how I made this liquid chrome type. So someone on the Discord server uh, reached out to me and he asked me if I could recreate this uh, liquid chrome type uh, style I guess and uh, one of the ways I thought it was possible was through only Photoshop. Um, so what we have here is a uh, type that I uh, did for an upcoming uh, Dreadlabs uh, t-shirt drop. Um, and I'm just going to go through the settings for you guys and to show you how I made this. So we're starting out with uh, just this text layer. Um, and I applied a, uh, a reticent uh, texture on it. And I'll put a link up to this texture uh, in the description. Uh, but you can find these online and we even have a tutorial on how to make custom ones for yourself. So yeah, nothing special so far. Uh, then the second one is a layer style with only a bevel and emboss, and I'll open up the settings for you. Um, but there's nothing special going on in here as well. Uh, we just soften it up until uh, up until the max. Then uh, the angle, which is for all of the bevel and embosses in here, uh, 125 degrees to have the highlights in the top left in here. Uh, the size is 20 pixels and the depth is 251% and the gloss contour and anything is... There's nothing special going on in here. Um, I just lowered the uh, shadow to 67% and the opacity of the highlights to 83%. Um, so, so far so good. Here's where the crazy stuff starts to happen. Uh, because uh, you can ignore this bevel and emboss here because it's not used. But um, I used the, I, I duplicated the layer here. Um, as you can see, this is just a uh, a white uh, layer in here, um, but I turned the fill to zero. And the difference between the opacity and the fill is basically, uh, if you turn the opacity to zero, uh, your whole thing becomes invisible. But if you turn the fill to zero, uh, the layer styles will still be visible, but like the initial thing not. Uh, so the white text that we got in here is not still visible, only um, in this case our inner row. So, uh, I experimented a lot and I wanted to create this like kind of cyan, uh, surreal uh, thing, I guess. Um, and the way that I did that was by picking a difference blend mode. Um, and I just started uh, tweaking a gradient um, and watching this to make sure that the difference started to become like this otherworldly cyan purple mint color. Um, so I got a dark green, uh, or sorry, I got a dark red in here. A darker green and as you can see for example this one corresponds with like the darker blue in there then we got a red in here and the red corresponds with the uh, most obvious like cyan thing but the cool thing is like the transition between the green and the uh, red in here is what makes this like color rotation and then we got another green in here which is just a little bit brighter and if uh, the Part uh, where you need to keep in mind though is when you uh, turn something like white in the difference, as you can see it starts to go black and the other way around. So the lighter your color is, the darker it's going to be with the difference uh, blend mode turned on. Uh, so yeah, this is basically what distorts the color uh, and makes it look like a bit more of a liquid, I guess. I have another uh, version of the text in here with uh, the fill turned to zero and a bevel and emboss layer. And this one is with a ring contour gloss, which is very important because if we turn this to normal, you can see that there's uh, a lot of, uh, not a lot of visible like refraction, I guess, going on. Uh, with a higher highlight, a bit of a lower uh, shadow. Um, I softened it up just a little bit. Uh, the size is 35 pixels and the depth is kind of high. Um, and then we also got this inner glow, uh, which makes sure uh, that there's... Um, like a white edge around the full thing uh, because if we didn't have that you can actually start seeing that there's a lot of shadow um, and yeah and basically this is how you prefer it because uh, and it depends on what you want to work uh, use it for but I like it when the edges around it are also like kind of uh, highlighted because this uh, looks like it's actually like made of kind of chrome liquid uh, stuff um, so for the um, inner glow I made a small gradient with a light cyan, a lighter gr gray, and then a more vivid cyan, and then a white color. And I made sure that this gradient ramped all the way to white again, but then with a zero opacity. So that, uh, it's kind of like fading out. 
So the next one here is uh, basically the same thing, an inner glow and then a bevel and emboss. The gloss contour is the same. This one has a bigger highlight and a lower shadow. Um, and the depth is 1000% at the maximum. It's softened up just a bit and the size is a little bit smaller than the other one. And the inner glow is basically the same as the, the other one, but the opacity is lower. And now we got to the like, most uh, important uh, part of this, I think. And that's another bevel and emboss uh, in here. But this time I made a custom gloss contour with three rings instead of uh, two. So this is what, this is the one you can find in your presets. Uh, but this one, uh, I made like another uh, curve in here. And what that does is it really changes your uh, refraction, as you can see in the preset right here, to make like another ring of highlights, uh, which is important because that gives off that actually like the true uh, chrome reflective uh, look. Uh, the depth is also put to 1000%. The size is up to 27 uh, pixels, so just the same as the other one, and the soften as well. And I made the screen or the highlight a little bit uh, towards like cyan slash blue. Uh, to give it more of a like, uh, like the to make it look like the sky is basically like reflecting on this, um, and we also have the same shadow here. So if you want to copy this style, uh, you can find the file on Patreon, or you can pause the video and copy the settings uh, for yourself. Uh, there might be a size difference. Uh, this uh, logo is around 2,400 pixels uh, wide, and around 400 pixels high. So um, yeah, I would uh, suggest like if you copy this uh, to make sure that your logo is around the same size as this one. Otherwise, you have to tweak the size values. Um, anyway, I hope this uh, video uh, breakdown has been kind of helpful for you guys. Um, uh, because I am going on holiday soon, uh, I want to produce as much content as possible. That's why I did this video in a more of a breakdown format instead of a tutorial format. Um, so yeah, just to, so to have you guys entertained while I'm away. Um, anyway, uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.